Immunopharmacology can be kind of tricky, but these are easy points on exams. Here are some mnemonics that help me. Starting off with alumtuzumab, I use the mnemonic alum because it you know, depletes all of them, the B cells, the T cells, and the NK cells causing profound leukopenia. The next two, I use RITs and Oreos to remember rituximab and narcolizumab, because if you were to eat as many as you wanted, you'd probably gain 20 pounds. The serving size is like two crackers. 20 reminds you of CD20, which is on B cells. Bevacizumab, I think of a beaver, and beavers build dams. This is super important because it decreases blood vessel proliferation and cancers, and it's used in wet macular degeneration. Trastuzumab, I use the mnemonic that I think I found in first aid, trastuzumab, emphasis on the two for HER2 receptors. Also, trash is the heart because patients who do take this, you have to look out. The anti-TNF-alpha medications I grouped together with a mnemonic called ICE Age because you put ICE to reduce inflammation. A Danercept, specifically, you'll get asked um, what it is, and it is a fusion protein, and it intercepts binding between the antigen-presenting cells and the T-cell. For the next two, I don't have any specific mnemonics, but in Arabic, there's a phrase, you can say, Besida, which means kind of stop it, and um, it kind of just decreases IL-2 activity. Um, but it's related to the next one, the aldus leucan. I think of someone exclaiming aldus leucan, like leukocytes, because it stimulates um, IL-2 and causes T-cell proliferation. So it, I, you put those to compare. Lastly, omalizumab. I think of someone exclaiming, oh my asthma, because this one is used in asthma and it decreases IgE allergy response. I hope these help.